I still feel this film with Ashton Kutcher spread is really, really underappreciated. Do you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got some Afoulsian camera movements. It's a great looking movie. Okay, well, that's settled. It's settled right there. You're getting the full experience right here of this, of this store here. I first came in here, it was 2004. I had just turned 18. I came in here and I don't think I left the store for about the next six or seven years. I think part of what makes a store really important is the collection. And it's terrific, it's, it's deep, it's big, um, and it, it covers so many different genres, so many different filmmakers, so many different careers. Speaking of the sense of discovery, this is one of the first martial arts films I rented in the store, and I rented it purely based on the title, Dirty Ho. It's got a really great wine drinking, wine tasting sequence where they're fighting each other while pretending to be at a wine tasting. They're like, oh, sh they're okay. like pushing cups into each other's faces. There's a whole experience to going to a video store that has a lot to do with the physicality of actually putting yourself in the space, getting yourself out of the home, walking there taking the movies home with you that I do fear will be lost one day and it will be sad. When we talk about, you know, the kind of the spaces that we create for a movie culture, I don't think anything is more democratic or egalitarian than a video store because mm. movie theaters have to deal with realities of distribution, right? You're not gonna get art house titles in the multiplex, but in a video store, you're gonna get the the schlockiest of the horror movies, you're gonna get the most highfalutin of the art films, and you're also going to get, you know, just mainstream stuff as well. And it's it's a yeah. way for everything to mix together. And, and just the, the shelf alone, I mean, where you can start with, like you're saying with Argento, but you can just move right down yeah, to the start of it and go, Mario, and go into Baba, Mario. Enzo Castellari. Yeah, yeah, Sergio yeah. Corbucci, you're just, even going through the yeah. alphabet, you can get an education. Uh-huh. I think the upside of streaming is that it's incredibly convenient, but the downside is that often your options are very limited by all kinds of corporate forces, by rights that, you know, pass in and out of different people's hands. Physical media is kind of our one, our one safeguard. There is always a copy of it here. What the heck? There's a movie called Farewell Terminator? That's his first film. That's Isaac Florentine's, I think, first or second film. Where else are you going to see Farewell Terminator? I, I'm, I might get that, actually. It was a winner of the Mugrabi Film Festival. It won five awards. Best film, best director, best production, best editing, best music. Wow. Done. <laughs>